I was born in 1980, which means I've lived in this city, Milwaukee, for 36 years. I've actually lived in every single city from Grafton all the way down to Milwaukee. This vlog you're watching right now, this is my 203rd video about this city. I've got mad love for Milwaukee, so when I see people on Facebook and Twitter and on the internet talking about this city, it really pisses me off. If you haven't watched the news already, there was a riot that happened here in Milwaukee last night. Yeah, you can looks see what like looks a like a van on the left side of your screen that's burning. And maybe even two vehicles. Yeah, and we have had reports that this started as a group of about 25 to 50 people. And there were reports that there were uh, rocks and bricks being thrown at first at police officers. And then we had reports that there was a, far, a fire to a car, and when the firefighters came in, there were bricks thrown at them as well. A guy robbed a house, stole a gun, like 500 rounds of ammunition. He got pulled over, ran from the police. He was told to put his gun down, didn't put his gun down, they ended up shooting and killing him. Kind of a sad situation. But when I was following it last night on Twitter, uh, after seeing like all the comments and stuff and people's opinions, I kind of already knew what was gonna happen this morning, today. I have a zero tolerance policy for racism, for unjust police shootings, and people that don't live in this city are feeding into all this nonsense on the internet and creating this thesis about Milwaukee that just is not true. As someone who's lived here my entire life, this city is getting better. It is not what it was 10 years ago. It's not what it was 20 years ago. It's definitely not what it was 30 years ago. So when people talk about this city as if it's unsafe or you're gonna have to duck for cover because there's bullets flying everywhere, it's just, it's not true. My biggest beef with this whole situation and what everybody is saying about Milwaukee is that all it's doing is creating more racism and it's pushing us backwards, not forwards. I think that these instances where there's these unjust police shootings are getting recorded and then uploaded to the internet, we're just seeing a few instances of what's kind of always been going on. And one thing that doesn't help is when we take just police shootings and put them in the same category with unjust police shootings. They're not the same thing. There's a huge difference between someone stealing a gun, pulling it on the cops, not putting it down, and you know, an unarmed person running from the police and shooting them out of whatever fear or anger they have for that person. Those are two totally different things. And I feel like if I don't make this video, if I don't talk about my city and talk about this situation, and every other situation, I'm part of the problem. I get it, I get that we have racism and we have problems with our police and, and all these unjust shootings, but there is a hundred times more good things that are happening in this city. And I think if everybody would focus more on all the good that's happening, Maybe we could push this thing further and progress this city even further. Maybe we could be an example for the rest of the country. And that's, that's kind of what I've always wanted. That's kind of the point of these vlogs. I show no prejudice in these vlogs. I show every race, religion, sexual orientation in this vlog. And that is, that's not just by coincidence. That's not premeditated. That's just how our city is. And every single one of these videos I make is an opportunity for me to do something good for this city and to show and share the good that is this city. So yeah, uh, those are kind of my thoughts on this whole situation that's going on right now in the city. I'm sorry if this was kind of a downer, but I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I just have mad love for this city and I want to do everything I can to share this city and show how good the city is and be a very small part of making this city better. Those are just a couple of my thoughts on the whole situation that happened last night. It's unfortunate, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Sorry this vlog is such a downer. Now, and then you see they had fire, they had the garbage cans on fire. And they had yeah, they lit like, they burnt down like a BP, uh, like an O'Reilly Auto Parts, like a, a bunch of places. You find out a lot of these people causing all the problems are from other states. I guarantee you, a lot of them from Illinois and Chicago. You find out that a bunch of young little punks starting yeah. a bunch of shit. They ain't grown folks. 
18, 19, 20 some years old have nothing better to do because they're too lazy to go get a fucking job or some education. And there's too many places out here to help you get one. Man, people, people don't realize, man, shit, there was, it was, it was bad, man, back in then, the cops used to kick the shit out of your ass. And they beat the hell out of you. My, my, and get a, and get, and get a, and get a, a, a ward for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. They didn't Say care. That. They These cops didn't they, care if they you were white. A, they give them a, a, yeah. a they, they didn't thing. care if you were white, black, or whatever. Oh, yeah. They kicked your ass. So have you guys lived here your entire life? I did. No. You I have? have. I've lived, you have? I moved here in 1967. Okay. So okay. you've been here a long time. I've been here. How has the city evolved? Is it better than it was in the 60s, oh, yeah. 70s, of course, 80s, 90s? Of course, of it is better. That used to be so freaking polluted. I knew a guy that fell in the river and it wasn't for the garbage that would have down. In 1945, the Wisconsin Bridge, they were putting pylons down and they stopped it. And that's one reason when you walk down the river walk, you see that duck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty the duck was having babies down here. Really? And they stopped it. And it went nationwide. And they said, that's one we brought this nation together. Think about Paps and them generations. When Paps and Slits them got here, they stopped putting in jobs. And this was a non-slavery state. Yeah. It was a non-slavery state. So a lot of runaway slaves came here. Go to 17th and Fond du Lac. There's a plaque right there. Uh -huh. There used to be a house right there where the, the Underground Railroad right. went through. Are you serious? Yes, yeah. the Underground Railroad yeah. came here. And according to my aunt, there was a lot of them that came through my Vernon County. Uh -huh. And my great-grandfather helped a lot of them. They built caves and really? such. They had what they call a double-decker farm. Yeah. And they built caves that put slaves in them. Really? Yeah, my aunt was a trip I hosted by my family and that. They said, man, wow. you'd be surprised what my family did. The industrial age kicked in. This place was booming. Really nice talking to you guys. Right, you have a good Enjoy one. the afternoon. All right. All right, you have a good one. Yeah, see you guys later. Yep. All right, shocker. Uh, I have no idea where I parked my car.